Most teachers of biology will be familiar with a setup such as this for demonstrating the evolution of oxygen gas during photosynthesis. Often the aquatic plant Elodea or Canadian pondweed is used. Elodea, however, is temperamental and does not produce oxygen gas reliably. In recent years at CERC, we've advocated the use of Kabomba in photosynthesis experiments. In a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate, Kabomba reliably produces oxygen bubbles from a cut end of stem. Kabomba, however, is unavailable in the UK following a 2016 directive from the EU. At CERC, we're currently using this aquatic plant in photosynthesis experiments. This aquatic plant is native to South America and is called Egeria najas. Egeria najas has narrow serrated leaves and a sturdy stem. It will produce oxygen from a cut end of the stem fairly reliably when placed in a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate. To set up a bubbler, you will require sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, a beaker and glass funnel, something in which to collect the oxygen gas, a syringe barrel capped with blue tack is good for this, a light source and a couple of sprigs of the plant. You will need enough sodium hydrogen carbonate to cover the end of the stem of the funnel. Fill the syringe with the solution and turn it upside down under the level of the liquid. This can be a bit tricky. Place it over the end of the funnel. Metal test tube holders can be used to keep the syringe in place above the end of the funnel so that the gas produced will displace the liquid. If your lamps produce heat, you will need a transparent container of liquid to place between the light source and the bubbler. This will absorb heat from the lamp. This setup can be used to investigate the volume of gas produced in a given time. The gas collected in the syringe will relight a glowing taper, proving that it is oxygen. To carry out individual investigations into the rate of photosynthesis, students could make their own mini bubblers. To make a bubbler, use a piece of egeria which is at least equal to the length of a boiling tube and place the plant in the boiling tube stem end upwards. Trim the leaves exposing the final three to four centimetres of the stem. Fill the boiling tube right to the top with 1% sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Cut the stem at a 45 degree angle under the level of the liquid to avoid creating air locks. Try to cut the stem at an internode. At this stage, students can adjust the lamp until they see a stream of bubbles. If no bubbles appear, try cutting the stem again. Students could investigate the number of bubbles produced in a given time at different light intensities. Or, they could measure the volume of gas produced using a 3 cm cubed disposable plastic pipette. To set this up, squeeze the bulb of the pipette and draw up sodium hydrogen carbonate solution to fill the pipette. Make sure the liquid goes right into the bulb. Seal the tip of the pipette using blue tack. Cut the pipette at the 3 cm cubed mark and top up any lost liquid. Quickly invert the full pipette and place it over the stem. 
mark the level of the liquid on the pipette. The scale on the pipette will allow small volumes of gas to be measured so that the volume of gas produced in different conditions can be compared. Egeria Najas is commonly used as an aquarium oxygenator and can be purchased from most aquarium suppliers. Remember that like Kabomba, Egeria Najas is non-native to the UK, so please dispose of it carefully via your normal refuse to ensure that it doesn't enter waterways.